This conference will now be recorded. All right, as always, everything that we're going to be talking about today is for educational purposes only, and nothing is intended as any type of investment advice. So we got a few things going on out there, but as you can see, the volume's been uh, been very, very light um, for pretty much the entire afternoon. So I'm just going to give you a few things that I'm looking at because we really don't have anything new that's popped out there unless there's something that's coming up on our uh on a rapid that's kind of coming out of nowhere, it's a very, very slow afternoon based off you know what we see. So first thing, obviously, WWR. So we just came on that push up. We know that we've had buying multiple times. So now we're essentially, it's a double top, but really showing that triple top. And we know that there's the ability for it to get back up there. We just had some, and I, I say decent prints because the prints that we had at seven, which of course I just switched, so it's not gonna let me show, but the prints we had at seven were okay. They weren't, you know, it, it didn't really jump out. And if I go back, I'm gonna go back on another screen real quick. It shows, you know, through basically three separate bursts that came into there. And the first one that we looked at, I mean, you know, you're talking about what, about 10 prints somewhere in that area. And for a stock that's been built, and that's not shocking either. And the reason being is because the stock has been building pretty much all day. You can see from the beginning of the morning, we popped all the way back up. And then it's just come down to build and build and build and come and come and come. So the fact that we know there's a market maker sitting here at seven pulling back, it should not be a long pullback based off the amount of, of buying that we have. Really just want to see that volume kind of push out of this dip right now and give us somewhere around that 900,000 to push us and then we should easily be able to get to that 750. Obviously 750 is a big number overall. So once we get there, we really want to see a lot that's going to show us, especially off level prints coming up to it. We want to be able to see something that's going to show us breaking 750 because the amount of buying that just came into it essentially gives us about 50 cents, give or take, maybe a little bit more because of the amount of times that it came in there. But after a pullback, you know, I have no problem whatsoever of looking for that trigger back towards that 750 level. And that's by far the best thing that we're seeing going on out there. Um, a few other things that I've been looking at, but you know, at the same time, like I said, there's so much, you know, so much that just has really low volume, even though that it's moving. If we come to RKT, now the volume is absolutely disgusting. It would need to pick up, but I really liked two things. First was, if it's not gonna let me go all the way back, but we had 2350 that came in the first time. Um, and it, it was really nice because what it showed was a uh, bid print with a uh, two ass that came in afterwards. And we got that little move that came, you know, came down, nothing crazy at all. And then we've pulled back under uh, on top. So we're, we're going to be looking for a move there. DKNG is another one where it's the same type of deal. As we're coming into this 50 on 50, got beautiful uh, bid for uh, bid prints with ask. And you can see quick move down, big pull up, back, uh, pull up back right up. Not going to be a long-term move towards that downside. So another one where as long as we kind of, especially with 60 being right up above and the selling that we've seen coming into this is another one that we have a pretty easy chance of getting back down towards that uh, towards that double bottom. Uh, we do have that print line of 58.90, but you can see it's been respected a little bit it's got the selling to be able to get down there so that's just another thing that i'm going to be watching uh other than that like i said i just don't have much there you know there's really nothing new when i'm scanning before most of the stocks from this morning are just pretty much dying. Um, GRNQ, you know, it had it's nice, you know, had a nice move, but there's just not really much there. WWR, we've already talked about. You can see anything with any type of real volume just isn't really showing much. Um, CBAT, I know we were talking about before. The one thing that I don't like about this is just the way that it's been trading pretty much all day. Um, coming up to that four, did we get anything good? All right, we're gonna throw CBAT on here. I like the 395 that we got, 392. Really nice buying underneath. The four is definitely a little bit weak. So I'm not a huge fan of how many prints came in towards those highs. But obviously, you know, it definitely fits into the category. Um, like I said, I would really like, but I do like the off-level prints, which basically show us not much of a pullback and then that move back up. Just be careful of it printing at four again because the first time wasn't as much. So if it prints a lot at four, we're going to see this thing kind of take a little bit more time, but it's definitely showing shorter term based off of the amount of buying we're getting under that three nine, uh, under that four level. So definitely like what I see there. ENLV is another one where I'm still going to kind of look at it and you can see it just got some nice prints that came in at 14. Uh, 
again, though, it's just so sporadic. There's just not, you know, even when it gets these nice prints out there, it takes a, a ton of time for it to really develop because there's just not a huge amount of trading. So we're going to keep that on our list too, just because of the nice prints that we had come in afterwards. And it looks like we're making a move back towards that buying that we came from this morning, but we're going to have to see consistent, uh, consistent volume. But, you know, even if it's just around here, that's perfectly fine with me um, just because it's not showing a huge amount of trading coming back in there, but it, it needs to see stay consistent in order for us to really have any chance of that movement coming back up. Um, and other than that, anything else out there that I missed? You know, there's going to be a lot of scanning going on this afternoon. Definitely a lot of looking for change in volume. It's, you know, typical Monday, typical Monday afternoon. All right, guys. So I will talk to everyone in the chat and happy trading.